Well, moms, welcome back to In the Kitchen with Mama Mel. If you're watching this on the day it's uploaded, it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. Tonight, I find myself where most all of us women do. It's the end of the day. I've already got my face washed, and I'm scooting around in my house shoes, just getting ready to start on cleaning up this kitchen. And tonight, I just want you to sit back and enjoy this relaxing Mother's Day cleaning motivation. This is not going to be one of those get it all done days. This is just going to be the regular every day, every evening cleanup, trying to get a few things marked off my list. You don't have to get up and clean along. I wish I was there and I could wash your dishes for you, but instead, why don't you just have a seat, have a cup of coffee, and let's talk a little bit about mothers. I want to start out by wishing my mom a very happy Mother's Day. My mom has been such a wonderful example to me. She has always shown me such love and care and modeled such an example for me to look up to and follow. I hope I'm just a fraction of as good a mom to my daughters as she has been to me and my brother. She has always been a hard-working woman, whether it be in the home or out of the home, in the work world. She has always showed us such love and sacrifice, and she has done it all with a wonderful sense of humor. We were always laughing in our house. The main thing that I could say about my mother is that she has a servant's heart. I think all of us as women have a servant's heart. Whether we're a mother by birth, by adoption, whether we're an aunt or a grandmother or a sister, or we find ourselves taking care of an aged parent. As women, I think we all have a little bit of mother in us. We were made to nurture. I've been thinking, what does the Bible say about the responsibilities of a mother? Back in the Old Testament in Deuteronomy, it tells us that we have a responsibility to teach our children the things of the Lord. I think that's first and foremost what we have to do is in everything that we do, show them the love of Christ. That's our responsibility to pass that along down to our children. So much of it comes in just the day-to-day -day caring of our children from the time they're little and nurturing them up into young adults. Galatians 6 says to pay attention to your own work and don't compare your work with someone else. That you're responsible for what you are called to do. And in Colossians it says to work diligently at everything you do as if you're doing it for the Lord and not for man. I know these tasks seem menial that we're called to do sometimes. They don't seem important. They get tedious. Whether it's the chores of the house or the chores of the family. But we're called to do them and they're important. And they're the work of our hands that the Lord has given us for this season. I would assume most of the people watching this video are young mothers. My children are teenagers and young adults now. But I still have work that matters in my home and in my family. As we get older, our work doesn't end. As an older mother, I'm looking to younger mothers that may need encouragement or need a helping hand. I remember all the people who helped me when my kids were young, giving me that encouragement that I needed, telling me I was doing a good job. Our mothering doesn't end. Sometimes we find ourselves moving our kids back and forth from across state to different places 
they need us in a whole different way than they have when they were um, infants and depended on us for every little thing. We also find ourselves caring for others, whether it be in our church, in our family, in our community. Do our children see us doing those things every day? Do we model the life of Christ in front of them? Philippians 2.4 says that we should have the attitude of Christ. Do I have the attitude of Christ in all that I do? I am sure there are days that I don't. And I know there were days when my children were small that I didn't. We don't have to have it together all the time. We can't do it on our own. I think there are times we have to step aside. We have to lay those cares down. Do our children see us do that? Do they see us laughing? You may think they don't see the hard work and the sacrifice that you put in, but when you gather them up into your arms at night before they go to bed, they may not say it in so many words, but they love and appreciate it and they depend on us. I heard a YouTuber, Fearfully Created, say just a week or so ago on her channel she had been up all night one of her kids had had a really rough night she wasn't complaining about it but she just simply said he needed me and I'm his mama if he can't count on me who can he count on I just thought to myself there are no truer words. If our kids can't depend on their mamas, who can they depend on? That's a heavy road to feel. But I'm here to tell you we don't have to do it alone. I just wanted to share my favorite Bible verse with you today on Mother's Day. It's Isaiah 40:11. And it says, He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will carry the lambs in his arms, holding them close to his heart. He will gently lead the mother's sheep with her young. Now in this verse, of course he's talking about the shepherd caring for the defenseless sheep that we are. The good Lord cares for the mothers and the children. He cares about all of us, but he has a special place for mothers and children and the moms that are caring for them. Here he's talking about how a truly powerful nation in Israel is not strong by its military, but it's made strong by relying on the strength that they draw from Him. So moms today, draw your strength from the Lord. When times get hard, ask Him for help. Take a deep breath. Let the dishes go. Let the chores go. If your kids need you, they need you. Laugh with them. Love them. There's always time to pick up the toys. There's always time to do the dishes. And yes, that's part of being a mom. They need to see us take care of these things and take care of our home and take care of our responsibilities. But they do need to see you loving and laughing and training them to care for themselves. When they become young adults, they can model a Christian parent for their children. So today, let me just once again wish you a happy Mother's Day from the bottom of my heart. And just know, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to compare yourself with any other mom. You're being the mother of the children that Christ has given to you. You are walking your own walk. The only person that you're accountable to is Christ. Trust Him and lean on His guidance care for those children and love them deeply and hug them tightly 
and to all the moms out there. Thank you for everything that you do. I'll see you in my next video. Happy Mother's Day.